Governor Neil Abercrombie. Thank you very much, Keith. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, I had the opportunity when, uh, right after Norm was named, uh, uh, to uh, pick up uh, uh, Coach Phil Rauscher and uh, Coach Lou Powell uh, at the airport. Uh, needless to say, when they got off the plane a little bleary-eyed, uh, they were a little bit surprised to see the governor there uh, at the state, especially because they had to look down so far to find me. <laughs> but it wasn't uh, a surprise for me to know that uh, I had the opportunity to do the one thing I think that distinguishes, uh, one of the things that distinguishes our uh, Hawaii Ohana is I can't imagine anybody coming who's, who is uh, going to be part of a family that we don't pick up at the airport. But when you come to Hawaii and your family, or you're going to be welcomed as family, you get picked up at the airport. We're about to enter a new era. We're about to uh, enter a, a time, I think, when there's going to be uh, more cohesion and more sense of, of Ohana and family, perhaps, than we've had for a long, long time. And I wanted to make sure that uh, the first two folks to come to accompany Coach Chow on his journey, uh, Coach Phil and, and Coach Lou, knew that uh, we were behind them 100%. We're going to see to it that whatever you need in terms of facilities, you're going to have it. We're going to be Division I all the way across the board. We're going to see to it that everybody understands that the University of Hawaii is a great school. And the person that can put all that together, the person whose record was such that not only from the point of view of wins and losses, but from the point of view of character, from the point of view of, of being able to uh, secure for any family the sure knowledge that their, that their son is going to be playing for a team that understands what family and future and character is all about. There could be nobody more capable of presenting that image, not only here in Hawaii, but across the country than Norm Chow. It is with a great deal of high, sense of high privilege and honor that I reintroduce to Hawaii today our new head football coach, Norm Chow. Thank you, Governor. <clears throat> My dad would be awfully proud to be sitting here right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a very, very special moment. <clears throat> I promised I wouldn't lose it. But we're home. And I can guarantee you what the Governor said is going to come true. We have already been visited every possible recruit from the state of Hawaii. As the governor said, it is so important for us to keep the good players at home, to represent the University of Hawaii, to represent the state of Hawaii, to represent the culture that we're, what we're all about. As we stood from afar, many of us coached on the mainland and saw the things that were going on at the University of Hawaii, how much we wanted to be a part of it. You will feel that passion, I promise you. You will feel that energy. Well, today, I need to tell you that I'm even more excited. And it is because of the seven guys that are sitting in front of me that I want to introduce to you. Together, you will see passion. You will see energy. You will see discipline from these coaches. And that's going to be our mantra as we move forward. As honored as I am to be a part of this, I have to tell you, we are not in awe of the task that is ahead of us. We have been given some responsibility, a tremendous responsibility to make sure that our young men perform the way you want, the way we want, the way all of us want them to perform. We understand that. We also understand the daunting task that is ahead of us with that schedule that Jim Donovan decided to give us. <laughs> to play on the road at USC, to play on the road at BYU, to play on the road at San Diego State, to play on the road against the Air Force Academy, 
is a extremely challenging schedule. Now, we need support. If you went to San Diego State and saw their facilities, if you went to the Air Force Academy and saw their facilities, when you go to the, to the Coliseum in Los Angeles and see the venue that they present, if we want to be, as the governor said we need to be, we need your support. We need from the biggest donor to the guy that just shows up at the ball game to enjoy a, an evening out. We need help. When, we went to, when I coached against the University of Hawaii, I never, I'll never forget, I remember driving the bus, uh, not driving the bus, being on the bus, being driven to the stadium, where we couldn't even get to the ballpark. Our business manager had to get out and ask the cars to move. And as we looked up about 50 yards, there was Dick Tomey doing the same thing, because his team couldn't get in either. That's what we want. I remember our kids from Boise, Idaho, and Warland, Wyoming, looking at the, in, in awe at the, at the tailgate parties and all the smells that, were, that accompany that, wondering what in the world are we getting into. That's what we need. That's what we need. That's the support that we need. As far as our responsibilities to our young people are concerned, let me just cover that real quick and I'll, I'll, I'll answer questions. Number one, we feel very strongly that we, number, our number one goal, we need to graduate student athletes. And I think, I think if you look at our track record, our own education, my wife and I showed us, you will understand how important education is to us. Number two, Along the way, we're going to teach some life's lessons. That's the responsibility of our assistant coaches. Football is such a unique game that it gives you the opportunity to teach discipline, to teach family, to teach working together, all of the things that allow us to be successful later on in life. Football is this long in a college career. Lives are that long. So we need to make sure we don't lose sight of what we're teaching our young people. Number three, we're going to win ball games. We're going to chase championships, and we're going to try as hard as we can. We're going to, no one's going to outwork us. I promise you no one will outwork us. I can't make a lot of promises, but I will promise you that no one's going to outwork our staff. And number four, we're going to get our guys ready for the NFL. A lot of people don't agree with that, but what we want to recruit is we want to recruit young people that think they're good enough to play in the NFL. Now, how many will make it? Very few, but that's what this is for. We've taught them, hopefully they get their degrees, and those few that are fortunate enough to make the NFL will do it. We have a goal. We're gonna make this University of Hawaii football program something that each one of us, each one of you, can be extremely proud of. Thank you very much. Any questions? Any questions?